The Internet has gradually become more important in our daily lives, and it has become a veritable necessity for human life. We must ensure Internet security and continue to develop networks to ensure global sustainable development and development of the ecosystem. Richard Horton, Chief Editor, The Lancet. Joji, Academician, Chinese Academy of Engineering and Professor of Tsinghua University. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much for inviting me to the second World Science and Technology Development Forum to help unveil the 10 scientific challenges for sustainable development of humanity. As editor-in-chief of The Lancet, I've had the honor to participate in this initiative for the past two years. It's very difficult to nominate and select 10 scientific challenges every year, but it is absolutely essential that we do so because we hope by listing these challenges, all scientists around the world can work together and take practical and effective actions to solve those challenges for sustainable development and for the future of humanity. Now we are meeting at a very difficult moment in the history of our species. And last year, the first challenge on our list was let me remind you how to prevent and control a mass outbreak of an emerging infectious disease. We selected that challenge at the time purely based on the popularity of research keywords in Scopus and the interviews that we conducted with editors of well-known scientific journals. But unfortunately, and very strangely, our nomination seems to have been prescient, forward-looking, and I very much regret that I cannot be with you in China personally today. Now this year, the themes of trust, cooperation, and development underpin the second World Science and Technology Development Forum, which aims to promote innovation, openness, inclusiveness, mutual trust, and mutual understanding in the development of science and technology. And again, in this era of COVID-19, trust and cooperation are absolutely essential if we are going to get through this pandemic successfully. COVID-19 is a threat to the health of every human being on this planet. And to solve the challenge of COVID-19 for humanity, we have to strengthen the bonds of trust and solidarity between each other. We have to be able to trust science and the scientific solutions that we are trying to devise. And we have to be able to trust the power of unity in our society. Now, as I've said before in many forums, Chinese scientists and health workers have made immense contributions to the response to this cruel pandemic. The work, I think, of Chinese scientists and doctors, really we owe them a debt of gratitude. Take, for example, the innovation of Fankang hospitals. These were large, very quickly repurposed, highly cost-effective, they were able to end intrafamilial transmission of SARS-CoV-2. They reduced the pressures on hospitals and they enabled efficient triage of patients as they came into the health system. And they were able to demonstrate the trust, this word trust again, they were able to demonstrate the trust between patients and health workers and cooperation amongst scientists. They turned out to be absolutely critical elements in China's successful response to this coronavirus. But there's more to the world than COVID-19. And our society is, in fact, facing many other challenges. The climate emergency, inclusive education, decent jobs, food insecurity, 
And I'm very glad indeed that the China Association for Science and Technology could continuously hold such a forum as this and gather the wisdom of leading scientists from China and other countries in the world to focus on the important scientific issues that take root and are so important as the foundation for a sustainable society. Once again, I hope that the global scientific community can pay more attention to this list of scientific challenges for sustainable development. And may the members of our community trust each other, cooperate more with each other, so that together we can find the best solutions to achieve the sustainable development goals. So it's time now for me to unveil the four scientific challenges in the field of healthcare for sustainable development. The first challenge, what is the influencing mechanism where human behaviors triggered the changes of the ecological environment and thereby caused the pandemic of infectious diseases. Now that challenge is such an important one to understand, not just COVID-19 as a zoo zoonosis, but actually the future threats we face from other zoonoses. Zoonoses have been rising in their incidence over the last 40 years. And we must, we must try harder to understand these influencing mechanisms connecting human behaviors with the environment that creates the conditions for pandemics. A second challenge, what mechanism may suppress a super contagious and highly harmful virus such as SARS-CoV-2? Well, that's the challenge that we certainly face. I'm speaking to you in London, where we're now going through our second period of lockdown. And this just isn't sustainable for societies, for economies, for countries. Lockdowns are no solution to this pandemic. We need alternative solutions. What can those solutions be? And that's the second challenge that I present to you today. A third challenge. How can new technologies be more effectively applied to the protection of the hygiene and health of humankind. Technology certainly has a very important part to play. We've seen perhaps a decade of progress in the technology in our society, the digitalization of our society, compressed into just 10 months this year. So how can we take this opportunity from the rapid progress in the digitalization of our lives to somehow think through how we can apply those technologies to improving the security of the societies in which we live. And a fourth challenge, how do we make quick and early diagnoses of scre and screening of severe diseases? And that is a really big challenge for us today as we're seeing non-communicable diseases, chronic diseases, the, the total number of people in the world living with chronic disease is rising every single year. People are living with disease for longer in their lives. And it is absolutely crucial that we find ways of getting that quick and early diagnosis. Again, technology will play a very, very important part in that. So that concludes the four challenges linking health to the Sustainable Development Goals. I want to thank you for inviting me to take part once again this year. I wish you well. Stay safe. Thank you. 下面呢, 呃, 采用哪些科技手段能够有效保证食品更安全、更健康? 
第七项，如何提高农作物产量和粮种覆盖率，以促进粮食安全。资源领域的问题是第八项。自然资源总量快速减少，应对响应机制有哪些？第九项，哪些技术和材料能够更高效地存储和转化清洁能源？第十项，采用哪些新技术能够大幅提升太阳能资源的高效利用？以上是2020年发布的《人类社会发展十大科学问题》。